mean, first off, why would you ride a bull? Wait, Go me... find a big girl! They, 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 they can use the attention, and, and that's all we have time for. Okay, hey, I'm Derek Zachary. Till next time, place it. Incredible, a jacket with a death wish. Denzone has no female callers that you change stations. I know I would, and have. I'm not here anymore. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex is 60 seconds. WCTR. Today, we marched on from Fort Struther after sunrise to a troops fought the savages and shot them like. I'm killing a squaw! Take that, you pig and bitch. No. Him and his commemorative miniatures. My husband working, and he didn't have an interest to spend money on. But he's always loved history. Then I heard about grown men who like to play with toy soldiers. War is so interesting. With commemorative miniatures, I began by faithfully rebuilding the charge of life again. After that, the trail of tears. I've built accurate recreations of 15 significant battles as well as chicken camps, prisoner of war camps, and forced labor death camps. Now I spend all my time painting toy soldiers and attending conventions. Commemorative miniatures. They're instantly collectible and a great value. For just 37 monthly payments of $19.99, you get a starter pack allowing you to recreate the battle of the ability to deal with present day problems by recreating scenes of mass slaughter from the past. Reenacting battles is great for your marriage too. One night my husband's General Custer, the next Napoleon. On Saturdays, I'm a Cambodian villager and he's a she and has his way with me. <laughs> then I kill her. Commemorative miniatures. They're not toys. They're very valuable collectible two inch pewter model armies. This is a hobby you can't afford to miss out on. And now, the number one show for vegetables on the radio. Gardening with Maurice. Oh,